All right, so it's Saturday night. We were just sitting here watching The Voice, and I remembered all of a sudden at 1045 at night that I really want to start doing yoga in addition to um, my workouts. Like, I don't know. I want, to, I want to get good. There's a girl on Instagram. It's like, Something banana 108. She's like so beautiful with her yoga poses and she puts it to music. I want to do that. I want to, I want to be like that. So I was showing Jimmy some of the videos and he's like, I can do that. I'll show you. So right now he's got his shirt tucked in. Tucked in my shirt. <laughs> and, um, and so I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to just see if Jimmy actually can do what we were just watching on Instagram. And uh, let's just see if we can get inspired here. You need to warm up or anything? No, I don't need to warm up. Um, <laughs> got, your, got your yoga pants. These are pretty good yoga pants. Good thing I you're have, wearing a belt. I have a belt on <laughs> and I've tucked my shirt in. So 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. And, All right. Um, what we're gonna do here is there, there are two variations to this advanced yoga technique. Mm -hmm. One is from a full handstand and the other is from a partial handstand elbow type thing and it goes into the full splits. Um, okay. So. Let's go. I don't have that much space on my phone, baby. I'll start with the elbow, the elbow stand first. <laughs> if I don't go into the full splits, it's because my yoga pants, these ones aren't designed for the full splits. <laughs> Your, knees. <laughs> Your knees are cracking. That's my old jujitsu knee there. It's cracking. Okay. Alright. <sighs> now I'm super nervous. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to get hurt. I can't. <laughs> okay, so first. I told you. Okay. <laughs> okay, hurry. I don't have that much space. Okay, the second oh, variation is the full handstand variation. Okay, watch okay. out, Stella. Stella, come here. Stella could get hurt. <laughs> we could all get hurt. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, dear. <laughs> Wait, do over. <laughs> Just warming up. Watch out, Stella. Stella don't Watch like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's super easy and relaxing. It's a good way to wind down at the end of the night. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your inspiration. Now I'm gonna try. Uh, hey guys, okay. it's Sunday. We just got home from church and Whole Foods. This is the only grocery store we're doing this week, so I thought I would show you what we got. We'll start over here. We got some organic grapes. These ones are good. I like when they're crunchy. These feel crunchy. And then we got these food for life, these English muffins, because we're gonna make tuna melts for dinner one night. We got just regular bananas. And then this is, I think, a pound of beef chuck roast. I'm gonna crock pot that this week. Then I got some of Chloe's yogurts. We got the blue and the pink. Some more kefir yogurt for our smoothies. Oh, don't you just love this bracelet, by the way? Just love it. It's Twisted Silver Gypsy bracelet. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, then. Hey, shh. And then I got my Zevias. These were on sale, but they didn't have the other kind that I like. So I'm trying the Mountain Zevia, and there is caffeine in this one. Um. So that, and then they had these on sale too, so I bought the rest of what they had, my Guru Lights. We got some organic pears. Jimmy got some of, these are his favorite protein bars, these Cliff Builder S'mores ones. We got eggs for our egg sandwiches, mayonnaise for the tuna melts. Um, then Jimmy got some Honest Teas and orange juice for little treats for himself. 
Then I got my coconut milk. This is for my protein shakes that I make after my workouts. Jimmy was feeling hungry, so he bought himself some raspberry, I don't know, Pop-Tarts things. For dinner, we're gonna do fish sticks. I know these aren't the healthiest things in the world, but the kids love them, and it takes cooking off the plate for a night. And some dried bananas and bread, and that's it. We already have a lot of chicken left from last week we're gonna make for dinner one night. So we have chicken, English, or the tuna melts, the egg sandwiches, the crock pot chuck roast, and then we'll probably do something fun on Friday. So that's our meals for the week and our grocery shopping for the week. Okay, so we got this bike for Chloe last year for her birthday, and a year later, she finally wants to give it a try. Literally, she has not ridden this thing in about a year. Look how cute she is with all that pink. <laughs> you look so cute, Chloe. Unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Cowboy boots. This girl's got style. I think she might be ready to take off those training wheels soon. Already, she just started. She even has an audience. <laughs> Why, Chloe? How was your tea? I didn't have any yet. <laughs> what kind of tea is it? Grape, sleepy tea. Well, Tyler. The weirdo, <laughs> you're not supposed to <laughs> eat the tea bag. I don't know how to say that. We're all trying to speak the Queen's language here. You see, the way I would say it is simply a tea bag. And when you, you weirdo, the big weirdo, would you like some tea? No, thank you, little girl. Little I'm not girl. Little girl. We call you, him the weirdo because he's a bit strange. Let's call him the baby. And this one, he's a little <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> Just a, a wee bit smaller. I, I like I like tasting the tea bag. Don't do that. That does not know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Chloe, this is a lovely party you have thrown us. Thank you. Did you like the music? Oh, it's quite lovely. You are quite lovely. It's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I go over in the door because the weirdos are getting tea bag. Okay, so this is just real life right now. It's like the end of the day. Um, and I have my hair's back, my makeup's coming off my face. I think I even have like black chunks of mascara. Um, but I'm trying on this new lipstick from ColourPop and I think I could possibly say with almost certainty that ColourPop might be my most favorite makeup line right now. I've been playing with the makeup all day. I don't even, I have like five different eyeshadows on my eyelids right now, but this is the Heart On lipstick. I just put it on. And I think I really like this color. It might be one of my favorites. Um, oh, and some of you guys were asking what my glasses are. These are, um, oh gosh, what are they? Oh, Ray-Bans. They're Ray-Bans. Um, and I can't remember the website. I'll try and find it where I, where I bought them and show you guys. But anyway, Jimmy just went to go get in and out because I just can't. I can't eat healthy. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> but I do like my lipstick. I'll have to do a haul if I haven't already and show you guys everything. All right, let my dog in. I'm gonna turn off this camera. Bye. Hey guys, okay, what you're looking at right now, these are those Jamberry like nail things. My friend from high school actually sells these and she sent me some to try out and I'm kind of excited. These are really fun and I don't, so much love to paint my nails because they chip so quickly so I'm kind of into this whole sticker trend that's happening so I wanted to tell you guys about this I wanted to see if you guys have ever tried these what you guys think and um, I will put these on hopefully this week and then let you know in the next couple weeks what I think but I'll leave um, the website for her in case you guys want to check them out I'm sure they have a ton of other designs but anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun and wanted to make sure I did not forget to tell you guys about them. 
Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I just wanted to show you my workout for today. I am just doing cardio today, so I did Fitness Blender, Hit Like a Girl round two, and I just wanna encourage you guys, I did not feel like working out today at all, but I did a short 10 minute hit workout by Tracy Campoli, and just that 10 minutes gave me the motivation to keep going, so then I added this on. Um, so if you guys don't feel like doing it, just talk yourself into doing at least 10 minutes and I swear, well most of the time, I promise that you will want to keep going. So that's an encouragement. And then I wanted to show you too, you guys have been asking me what my workout is. This is what it is. It's Kayla, it signs, I think that's how you say it. And this is a program that you have to purchase and I will put a link below. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's a 12 week challenge and it's really cool because it's, um, it's circuits. So just, I'll show you one page as an example. Um, you do each one for seven minutes. So for seven minutes, you go through this. If you have time, you go through it again and then you take a little mini break, like for a minute or two, and then you do it again. Same circuit, seven minutes, try and get through at least once if not twice. Then you take another one to two minute break and you move on to the second circuit going through that twice, seven minutes each for a total of about 28 minutes, but it'll be like 30 with your breaks. Um, it's really cool because she goes through, like there's all these pages where she goes through all the different workouts, you're changing it up. She goes through kind of the science of it, why she does it this way. Um, and the only reason that I decided to do this instead of Tracy Anderson was just because I was getting bored. I just needed a change. I needed something different. And so I'm going to do this for 12 weeks. I might, she has a round two for another 12 weeks. I might purchase that. We'll see. Or I might go back to Tracy Anderson. But I've seen amazing results. I have um, added a little bit more cardio on my off days because I already was working out that much. But um, in another couple weeks, I will give you a better re or a better review. I want to wait till I hit six weeks and I'm finishing up my fourth week this week. So stay tuned for a full review. It's Wednesday. Taylor and I are taking I just, Stella for I just, a walk. I, I just like kind of hold on to a loo loose leash. Now like running up to No, we're going this way. Where are you going? Wrong way. We go up the up the hill. Um so yeah, Taylor and I are walking Stella. I think he's ready. I think he can take this walk with me. It's about a two mile walk, but it's a lot of hills. So um, we'll see how he does. Usually I listen to podcasts in church, but I think today I'm just gonna chat with Taylor. Um, you guys, I know we're probably sick of the bang talk, before I keep walking. I think I like this. I think I like them swoopy and swoopy. I think that might be my my new thing. The straight up and down, I just can't, I can't maintain. My phone ran out of space. So anyway, this is what I'm thinking I like for my bangs. The swoop. What do you think? Do you guys like the swoop? Are you so tired of me and my issues with my bangs? Um, anyway, all right, I got a hill to climb and I have a son to bond with, so I will check in hey with guys, you guys. we just got back from running errands and I thought I would show you what I got at the stores we stopped at. We we're trying to find Taylor a new school backpack. He wants one that rolls, but we didn't have any luck. So I did have luck in other areas. I got my Batiste dry shampoo. This is my favorite one right now. This totally beat out the swab one that I used to get. And then Taylor needed more hangers. Um, he just got more clothes because of his school uniforms and stuff. So this was $25 for $11.99. And then at Target, I'll just dump all this out. We went there for a backpack too. No luck. But we got the kids new toothbrushes. I got Chloe this one. And Taylor wanted an adult one, so he picked out these oral B ones. He spent a lot of time, was very intentional with his toothbrush choice. 
And then I needed a new uh, pencil sharpener, so I got that. I was out of my eyeliner, so I got another one of those. And then I was totally out of this as well. So that's what we got at Target. And that's about it. Something that is just beyond comprehension to me. We have adult men in the park behind our house. Top of the lungs, yell, cuss, arguing about like pee wee football games that their kids were in and the coaching problems that they had. And, and these kids are like little, like seven, eight year old kids. And they're yell, cussing, screaming. Are they screaming like actually them. fighting, do you think? I think they might be like about to fist fight over. Should we call the police? No. <laughs> no, come on. Let them fight. But it's a dumb reason to fight. I don't even that's care. that's a, a poor example for these kids. Especially because I just don't care about any sports at all, even a little bit. But Jimmy, you know, some people do. I know some people do, but I just can't imagine fighting over it. A game. Because it is a game. It's really dark in here. Yeah. I think sometimes we need to be reminded that... Jamie's about to get on his soapbox. <laughs> football is a game. Games, by definition, are supposed to be fun. They're supposed to be entertainment. Alright. Now, it's not really about... I don't have that much room. 